There you go. All right. What? Okay, guys. Gotcha. Linear actuators. You guys have asked me lots of questions about the one for the pool. This is it. it was not easy, so I'm going to show you guys in case you ever want to tear into one. Just because we're going to tear into one over here. I'm going to show you how. So what I need to do is I need to separate the motor from the shaft. And on that one over there, I've got a limit switch, which is right here. I've got a limit switch, which is defective. So how we're going to solve this is we're going to separate the shaft in this motor assembly with the shaft in that motor assembly. And the way that we do it, take a pin driver and over here on this face, there is a roll pin. And not only is there a spider that holds the front of this, it's a plate, a metal plate with four bolts, but then there's a tiny little roll pin that we drive out. Look at that. I'm gonna leave it right there because some roll pins are uh, oriented in a very specific uh, direction. So right now you can see how it wants to move. I'm not going to separate it. Let's go ahead and take a look over here at this guy. So the way that these linear, linear actuators are set up is that there is a housing in the front, there is a middle piece like this, and you can see how they rotate together, and then there's your rear housing, which is your motor. Now, notice inside there is a plastic um, clutch. There's a one-way clutch right here, so it spins in one direction and in the other direction it clamps. And then, right here is another piece. This is the inner side that will grab onto your clutch. You can see it's splined. And then right here is the ball screw, which actually gives all the mechanical advantage to the linear actuator. So this guy here, it's got a bearing inside this plate. You can see it's pressed in. Um, actually, it's not pressed in. I see a nut right there that holds it in. Very cool. So what I need to do is I'm gonna inspect this guy here, make sure that there's no damage, which it doesn't look like there is, and I'm gonna go ahead and exchange this rear motor housing with the tube from the other unit because the tube's defective on this guy. You can see the corrosion down here. So all this is corroded. The motor works absolutely fine. So we're gonna change the two out and then slap it together and give it a test. Should be good to go. So anyway, guys, that's uh, inside linear actuators. You're gonna find these, well, this one came from a pool lift, but you do find these in um, hospital beds, all sorts of things, patient lifts. Um, they're absolutely everywhere, different sizes, different dimensions. But this is a linear actuator, and now you know what you should expect to see on the inside. Thanks for watching, guys.